This web view is also an addressing a simple problem that is faced in the lives of many commuters and travelers alike. It is filling the unique Interstate 95 gap northeast of Philadelphia. Now, Interstate 95, you may think of it as a direct highway connecting Florida to Maine. It's actually not in this area. As you can see here, this is Interstate 95. This is Interstate 95. What's in between? Actually, 95 continues up here, but then it ends here and then it starts back here where it interchanges with 195. So how do you bypass that? Well, if you're coming from the southwest, it's easy. Just take the Delaware Memorial Bridge onto the new Jersey Turnpike, continue like that. However, if you're coming to and from Philadelphia, getting from here to the New Jersey Turnpike is pretty hard. So there are already plans to actually have a new interchange here that will help to bring people here to the Pennsylvania Turnpike and right onto the New Jersey Turnpike. Now, I'm not the only one trying to solve this problem. There's actually other people who are trying to solve this as well. Here's one plan and I'll tell you why I don't like it. You see here, there's a complete four-way junction between 95, 276 and they'll rename here 395. It's just very expensive and if you look here, that would destroy a lot of property. Like look at all these businesses' homes that would be needed to be destroyed to build this simple interchange. Well, that doesn't have to be the case. I figured out a way to make this work without destroying a single home. It's right here. Now essentially here, what the blue lines represent where the new roadway alignments will be. And some of them are over the existing ones to show that they will still exist. This interchange, probably only a mile south of here, is very underused and it seems to be a very high capacity junction. Why not just continue this roadway to 276 right here? Right here, there are no houses. They're just a random strip of no houses. So nobody is willing, nobody will lose their home from this. It's also a much shorter distance to connect the Delaware Expressway right here you connect it right just west of the delaware river bridge which is pretty important like this is probably a savings of like half a mile or more it's also more direct much less turns turns of less radius and like i said no homes are destroyed so right here you're coming from 95 this interchange is designed like these people who are going this way or that way they don't have to make a big turn so why not that just make that Interstate 95? Now here, I was thinking just elevate the road a little, build an overpass here, and make a park low junction with Route 413 so that will not be lost. Now this will actually connect here directly to the Route 13 interchange also. I believe it's called the Bristol interchange on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. So right here, you could see how the alignments go like you could exit from either here or here. You've seen that, like another example is right just north of Route 95 on Route 476, same idea. So you're coming here, you could either take Route 95 South or 276 West. If you want to go to Route 13 from here, you either take here or here, and it'll go directly to the toll plaza. It may seem like there's a lot to be built, but it's still much less than that three or four level interchange that they're planning to do. I don't know why they're doing that. This is so much simpler and it's also cheaper. Now the entire project is not cheaper. I'll tell you why. You see this? I've drawn a silver line here instead of a blue. This is actually a new bridge. I believe that the remaining funds should be gone into making a new bridge. This bridge is only four lanes. It is not enough to handle the traffic of Route 95. You need at least six to eight lanes. So that's why this other bridge will be built and it'll just connect here. Now you may be wondering, the other interchange had access to 276 West. Why is that not there? If I think if you're going from 276 East to here, 
it's much easier because this interchange already exists with root one just take that and you're on your way there also coming this way it's also like a very sharp turn it's unlikely many people will go from going east on 276 to south on 95 but besides that no movements are lost it's a very efficient solution no houses are destroyed it's like the perfect situation the perfect thing is to lower costs and this may also even increase capacity as very little of the turns actually have the sharp radius and radiuses so that's about it this was not that much of a long video but I'll just give you a bird's eye view of the entire project right here. You have 95 going like this, 276 going like that, and then this I still believe will become 395. I think that will work out to connect with Trenton. So I would urge you to tell politicians, tell the government, tell any other people who are designing this to at least consider this design. It is much more efficient, it's cheaper, and it also has a higher traffic capacity and it's a big departure away from this that's about it thank you for watching